In this video, we're going to be taking a look at writing a personal narrative. Now, the goal for this video is to talk about your first draft still. Also, we're going to talk about how, you, how it's important to consider your audience while you're drafting. And also, we're going to really key in on an effective conclusion to a personal narrative. Now, it's important to open up your practice companion books and turn to page 84 and take it, a look at that writing model. Now it's important as you read this writing model, and I know you've just about read it every single time we've um, had a video, it's important to remember to read this model and think about what tips or tricks can you learn from the author um, in writing your personal narrative. Now, I want you to read through it, and in your notes, I do want you to answer these three questions, and you can pause the video, and then we'll go over the answers. So pause the video now. Okay, so first of all, which parts of the text help you understand how Karam seemed different from Lucas? Okay, we could see that possibly the description of Karam's, Karam's clothing and his personality. Next question, how does the writer show how the boys became friends? He explains how they taught each other different things. And finally, why are the writer's feelings important in the story? And you can have a lot of different reasons here. They help the reader understand how the event is important. You can relate to the writer and imagine being in his situation. So all these different answers to these questions, you could the author could have easily said that the two boys were friends and not really show how they became friends, but how they became friends kind of helps us understand the importance of writing with good detail and helping the reader understand everything that the author wants us to understand. Why are the writer's feelings important to the story? It's important that you as a writer express your feelings so we can really relate to you as the reader. A couple things that we want to talk about with your first draft, and, and I know you're going to continue on with your first, first draft today in writing, but it's very, very important that you consider your audience. Now, it's also important to remember, and well, before I go into this, what does it mean to consider your audience? So let's take a look at this. Remember, you know all about the events and the event that you have chosen. Your audience does not have the same memory at all. Okay, so it's important that as you draft that you include the important details that are needed for your audience to visualize your event. In other words, your audience needs to be able to relate to what you're talking about be able to feel what you're talking about, be able to see what you're talking about, because once again, your audience did not share that experience with you. They don't have the same love or interest with this experience, but you want to develop that within your reader. So it's very important to include the important details that are needed for your audience to visualize your event. Now let's take a look at some examples. So there are two examples here. First of all, when I first saw Naomi, she looked as she always did. I immediately noticed her hair and her clothes. Now, with this example, there are not enough details for the audience to infer what the writer means. In other words, does Naomi have pretty hair? We're left to question that. Does she wear plain clothing? However, if we have an example sentence like this, when I first saw Naomi, I was immediately curious about her wild hair and bright shirt with its sparkling buttons. Now, this second example gives will give your reader more clues about Naomi's unusual appearance, and the reader can very easily infer that Naomi is unique and stands out. And it's important to know that when you draft, you should try to include enough interesting details so that your audience will be able to infer information that they have intentionally left out when writing. So very important to include enough details so your reader, once again, can relate to your event, can relate to the experience that you're talking about. Now we're going to talk about an effective conclusion. Now it is important that, con that the conclusion to a personal narrative should leave the audience with something to think about. Okay, it's also important that you know it can reinforce the experience um, was special, how it influenced influence you maybe as a writer, or how it even made you as a writer feel. Now, some questions that I, that I do want you to ask yourself as you're writing a conclusion. First of all, how can you sum up your feelings? And also, what is the most important idea that you would like people to know after you're reading your, after reading your narrative? Now, I have a model 
um, conclusion. And it, it is important to know that we're going to have time to go back and edit and make sure we can do corrections and things like that. But it's very important just to kind of get your words down today. And we'll be able to go back and edit and revise later. So we have, I am so happy I met Naomi. She is always fun to be with and I have learned so many new things from her. I am grateful that I took the time to get to know her better despite her unusual appearance. She is an interesting person. I am proud to call her my best friend. So you can see that this really sums up the author's feelings and really a really um, a, a good idea that you want to leave with your reader and that may, um, and that Naomi is a great friend, she's an interesting person and so on. So as you come to class today, you are going to be writing, continuing to write that first draft. Once again, it's important to make sure that you include enough deal so the detail, I should say, so the um, reader really understands the event, can really picture it in their mind. And then also as you're wrapping it up, it's important to think about your conclusions. Your conclusion, you want to sum up your feelings in a certain way, and you also want to reinforce some of those important ideas that you want your reader to know. So once again, as you come to class, very important to understand with that first copy, we're not worrying about spelling, editing, revising yet. We're just getting everything down. And then once we're finished with that first copy, we'll have time to edit later. So. So if you have any very urgent questions about personal narratives, please come and see me.